Hi, hello my dear students. Welcome to our channel Rajesh Biology and I am Rajesh Message Zoology. Today our topic is uh, differentiation in mesoderm and uh, formation of coelom, intraembryonic coelom. Already uh, we completed a few concepts in this uh, topic human reproduction like uh, we completed the gastrulation, neurulation. Maldi told you how the outer ectoderm, inner uh, middle mesoderm and inner endoderm is formed and that means how the diploblastic structure okay the diploblastic uh, structure is converted into the triploblastic uh, structure and uh, by the process of gastrulation after the process of gastrulation how the neural tube and the notochord is formed everything we discussed previously now i'm going to uh, explain about how the intraembryonic coelom is formed here i mentioned that intraembryonic coelom because uh, the coelom is already there outside the embryo that is called blastocele blastocele we already completed that is the primary body cavity and that is spreads all over the embryo and that is called extraembryonic coelom we will discuss about the extraembryonic coelom in the next class. Now I am going to discuss about intraembryonic coelom. How secondary body cavity is developed. How the body cavity develops within the mesoderm. Between the somatic and splanchanic pleura. Okay. And how the mesoderm is going to form different types of structures inside the baby. That is I am going to discuss now. That is differentiation of mesoderm. So first of all if you observe this. Here it is the ectoderm, the blue color layer it is what? Ectoderm. And the green color layer now it is the endoderm. In between the ectoderm and endoderm there is a red color layer I draw here that is the mesoderm. Okay. The ectoderm, ectoderm is going to develop into a cavity. From the ectoderm one cavity is developed that is the amniotic cavity. In which the baby develops. In which the baby develops from the endoderm if you observe here it is the uh, it is going to develop into the yolk sac what it is yolk sac okay later this embryo is going to fold and bend and this yolk sac is uh, it will be like this and embryo is going to bend like this and the entire embryo is covered by the amnion cavity everything we will discuss later first when the trilaminar embryonic disc is there in the trilaminar embryonic disc the ecto from the ectoderm one amniotic cavity develops from the endoderm one yolk sac is developed between there is a mesoderm okay now i am focusing on the mesoderm to focus on the mesoderm i want to remove the amniotic cavity from here and i just want to remove the ectoderm also when i remove this amniotic cavity and ectoderm it is a flat plate like structure it is a flat plate like structure and i just want to show that flat plate like structure towards the camera and this is like this so it is the mesoderm above there is a ectoderm and amniotic cavity i remove the amniotic cavity and ectoderm out and behind this there is a yolk sac and endoderm we are not focusing on that we are taking this mesoderm okay within the mesoderm only there is a neural tube and uh, notochord notochord process is also here neural tube is also removed okay neural tube is from the ectoderm so i just remove this it is the notochord it is what a notochord notochord is there in the embryonic stage this is a notochord okay either side of the notochord it is the mesoderm enter it is a mesoderm okay just imagine there is a mesoderm completely a red color mesoderm is there okay now either side of the notochord mesoderm is present okay mesoderm is there either side of the notochord in the mesoderm a groove will develop this is a purple color groove i draw here it is what a purple color groove it is the purple color groove is developed groove means you know a fold it is a groove like that within the mesoderm there is a groove developed 
that is a mesodermal groove okay this groove divide the mesoderm this groove divide the mesoderm into three parts that is a mesoderm within the groove a mesoderm on this side a mesoderm on other side of the groove like that the mesoderm is exactly divided into two copies okay one copy on one side of the notochord another copy on another side of the notochord so exactly how it look like a mirror image if we, if we keep one mirror on the notochord how it look like there is a groove here also there is a groove it is a mesoderm within the mesoderm there is a groove clear it is now the mesoderm is now divided into three portions one is either side of the notochord either side of the notochord this is called paraxial mesoderm paraxial para means para means side axial what is axial notochord is the axial so axial para parallel to the axial or either side of the axial so this mesoderm is called what paraxial mesoderm paraxial mesoderm is also called epimer either side of the notochord either side of the axial skeleton the mesoderm is called paraxial mesoderm or also called epimer okay now and end portions these end portions are called what these end portions are called lateral plate lateral plate mesoderm lateral plate mesoderm lateral plate mesoderm why it is called because it look like a plate and it is the lateral side of the uh, lateral sides it is present on the lateral sides so it is lateral plate mesoderm or also called hypomer lateral plate is also called what hypomer hypomer epimer in between these two which divide the mesoderm into the epimer and hypomer the middle portion that a groove portion is called mesomer it is called what mesomer okay urogenital mesoderm because from this mesomer only urogenital ducts are developed so epimer mesomer hypomer one side same epimer mesomer and hypomer okay mesomer intermediate groove intermediate mesoderm okay is look like a groove it is look like a groove which divide the mesoderm into the epimer and hypomer and middle mesomer clear it is now okay in this uh, entire mesoderm particularly epimer epimer the two very close to the notochord either side of the notochord this is what epimer the epimer is divided into the segments is divided into what segments it is a segmented mesoderm it is what a segmented mesoderm lateral plate or this upside Uh, that means above the notochord this is the cephalic region in the cephalic region mesoderm is not segmented the mesoderm is unsegmented but where it is segmented it is segmented either side of the notochord like this it is the segmented epimer segmented uh, um, mesoderm which is either side of the notochord these segments are called somites what they are called they are called somites or metamers they are called metamers or the somites okay they are called somites or metamers if we observe this in a in this type of section if a if i cut like this if i cut the entire embryo in this manner if i turn like this okay so i'm showing this sectional view if i if i show the sectional view of entire this it look like this okay it look like this if you observe it is the ectoderm from the ectoderm amniotic cavity okay it is a side view it is a side view it is a another view okay it is amniotic cavity it is the endoderm from the endoderm the yolk sac is like this between these two there is a mesoderm mesoderm is again divided into 
uh, three portions on either side. 